Hey guys, welcome back to the powder room with Nikki. As you all may or may not know now, I don't know if you follow me on Snapchat, but we are expecting, so that is why I have not been uploading consistently. We've been traveling, we're expecting, and my first trimester was really, really rough due to a few things. One, actually experiencing what it's like to be a pregnant woman. I did not have that with my first child because she was just a breeze to carry. Like, I didn't feel like I was pregnant at all. But this one has been a little bit different. Um, so I'm not gonna give you guys a date of when I'm gonna upload, but I am gonna upload a lot more consistently because I need to get a bunch of videos out before the baby comes. The baby is coming this year. I won't tell you exactly when, but the baby is coming. Um, thank you guys so much for clicking that button to watch this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that little bell button down below. It lets you know when I upload new videos. Um, what else? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in the powder room. See you guys next time. Bye. But I want to use a bunch of new products, so I want to talk to you guys really quick. Today, I'm going to go in for my primer with the NARS. This is a new primer, it's pore and shine control. Yeah, pore and shine control. So this is something that I'm new to. I'm gonna try it out for the first time. Oh wow, well, really white. I'm gonna put it in my oily areas, which is my T-zone. If you hear a little, oh, it smells really good and soft. Um, I would say the formula for this is pretty watery. So I'm um, hoping this works. It's pretty liquidy. It feels like a lotion almost. But it smells really, I love that kind of smell. Really soft. So I'm hoping that'll build up um, a white base. We shall see. With my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, my color is in the color Tr Trinidad. So, I'm going to put some of this. I'm going to also use the Morphe R6 flat top brush to apply it. I'm going from medium to full coverage makeup today. That's probably a lot, but we shall see. Um, I've tried this foundation before. I have never tried it with that with its primer, so just want to see what it's gonna look like. Definitely add it to my favorites. Like, it's definitely a must have. If you like foundation that looks like skin, this is it. I am gonna apply it to my lids as well to get rid of all this darkness. So, let me tell you guys what's been going on. Um,. So, we are expecting, which is like a reason I have not filmed, one of the reasons I have not filmed. Um, in the beginning of my pregnancy, my first trimester, I was extremely, extremely like experiencing what it's like to be pregnant. With my first, I never had that. Like, it didn't even feel like I was pregnant, so I was super blessed with that. But with this one, it's been pretty different, to say the least. Um, but that sickness phase is over with. So I'll be back to filming, and I'm going to try to get out as many videos as possible because with a new baby on the way, I'm going to have to move my beauty room because this will become its room. And what else have I been up to? We have been traveling a lot, um, but I'm not, I'm gonna stay still for a few months because I just need to get my life together. I'm kind of orangey, but it'll settle in the skin. Um, 
I'm not gonna give you a date of when I'm gonna upload because I don't wanna make a promise that I can't keep if you guys wanna see that journey. Everybody's been asking me to vlog. This video is all over the place, but yeah. Everybody's been asking me to vlog because of my Snapchat. Uh, I don't think my life is that interesting, but apparently other people do. So yeah, if you guys want me to start vlogging, let me know. You gotta subscribe though, because I'm not gonna vlog if nobody's watching. <laughs> because it just takes a lot of time. Like it's a lot of effort to sit and hold a camera all day in your face. Like that's a lot of pressure. Today I'm using like all new products mostly. So next I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This one is in the color Eden. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this to get ready for my shadow. Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty intense. Probably didn't even need that much. <laughs> that is pretty, pretty, pretty intense. And I'm gonna blend it out with this Sedona Lace EB13 brush. It's just a flat, I mean, a fluffy brush, not even flat, it's just a fluffy brush. Your, the dog's name is Nani. N-O-N-N-Y. And then yesterday, Isla and I went to the store and got him like a dog tag, leash, a harness, and all of that good stuff. And he has been scratching like crazy since I put his little neck tag on because he's just not used to wearing anything. Um, he will be three months, March 1st. He was my Christmas gift from my wonderful husband. So, yeah. So yeah, we have a new dog, new baby on the way. Can you say life is about to get complicated? <laughs> my hands are definitely gonna be full. Um, I'm then gonna go in and set it with my Translucent powder, which is, you know, my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Um, this is gonna help set my base and also help my shadows blend a lot easier and show their true colors. Okay, so I put you guys in a little bit closer to be all up in my grill. Um, we're going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Um, this is a love-hate palette for me, if that makes sense. I'm going to go in with Raw Sienica and Burnt Orange, which are... So I'm going to go in with these two. I'm going to mix them and apply them to my transition area. I'm using the MAC 224 brush, which is a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna dip it in both those colors now what I hate about this palette it like crumbles when you put your brush in it let's see if I can show you guys so like you see all that dust and crumbleness which is why I didn't want to finish my full face um, I'm gonna blend this into my transition area and the windshield wipe the motions, but also cir circular motions. So to get the most, um, I mean the least amount of fallout, what you want to do is when you dip it into those colors, you want to blow it, blow the brush off to take off the excess fallout and then apply it. And then while you're sweeping it in your transition color, you want to go in small circular motions like this to blend it out. And then every so often you do want to do windshield wiper motions too. And then I'm holding my brush like at an angle like this. So this is how I'm holding it. If you can see that. I'm not sure if you can, but I'm holding it at an angle. Not straight, like, at the eye, but at a, a downward angle. Upward angle, I guess. Then, 
gonna go in with my MAC 217 brush. It's like a tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna take Love Letter, which is this hot pink. I don't know if this is a hot pink, but I'm horrible with describing colors. Only focusing this color on my outer crease in a partial transition area. Well, I'm not bringing it up to my transition area. Just focusing it. I don't really know how to explain it. Just, it's easier to just watch. And I'm going in really, really tiny circles to blend it out. I probably should have packed it on first and then blended it out to my liking. Have you guys seen the new um, Laura Mercier translucent powder in the color medium to deep? I did order it yesterday and I will be like comparing the two. I have them both. I guess I should compare three. That with the Sasha Buttercup because Sasha is my heart. Like that's my ride or die product. I'd go nowhere without her. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing a, like a, a comparison of the, the two or the three. My eye shapes are a little bit different on each side, so I'm just making sure that it looks even. Oh, you guys do know that this is a uh, different for me. I'm not into like colors per se. I'm taking the 224 brush and I'm gonna blend out my edges a little bit so that they're not harsh. But yeah, I'm not into like bright colors. That's definitely for me stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm used to more like soft natural eyes, gold shimmers on the lid, browns in the crease, maybe a black in the crease but nothing like this. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my MAC 239 brush. It's just a very, very flat brush, if you can see this. Very, very flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with this matte, mauve looking pink, which is right here, and it's called I guess it's called Buna Fresco. I know I just probably slaughtered that name. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this all over my lid. Yeah, talk throughs are really hard because I don't really know what to say. Um, I'm gonna eventually do like a get to know me and with my 224 brush and I'm gonna soften out should I use the color yeah I'm gonna use raw sienega and burnt orange mixed again <sighs> blow off the brush and sweep that softly like I'm barely touching my eye sweep that softly to get rid of any uh, crazy harsh lines and make sure everything is nicely blend it out I don't really post to Instagram that often anymore I just don't use it a lot but I am always on my snapchat and eventually I will start I also have a Facebook like powder room with Nikki page and um, I'm gonna start doing makeup videos live on there Then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe R0 brush. Looks like this to dust away my powder. And typically for me, this is literally the order that I take it away in. Because I noticed that um, for me, if I let that powder sit underneath it, harder to wipe away. 
lightly line my waterline. Love letter, which is the hot pink or the bright pink, the deep pink. Okay, and for my inner eye highlight, I'm gonna go in with, that the palette comes with, and I'm gonna go in with Vermeer. Just like, it looks like a champagne pink. Hopefully it appears that way. So now it kind of looks more frosty-ish on me. You guys use these brushes that come with these palettes because more than like nine times out of 10, that's what they make them for. Um, I'm gonna apply some Bottom Lash Mascara. I'm using my favorite, L'Oreal Luminous uh, Miss Manga. Go so, in to bronze my face, I'm gonna go in, this is something new. The Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in the color Deep Four. Uh, for me, replaces my CoverGirl Queen Collection in Ebony Bronze. It doesn't replace it, but it does the exact same thing. The CoverGirl is more of a red bronzing, bronzer for me. This is more of a, um, a neutral bronzer, if that makes sense. And I just like to touch it on the outer perimeters of my face. I'm gonna use the Sasha Powder Blush in the color Barely Plum. It looks like this. And I think it's gonna pair perfect with this eye look. These are highly, highly, highly pigmented, so be careful. I'm using my Morphe E3 brush. Be careful, guys. Smile and brush across the apple of my cheeks. So pigmented. I'm barely touching my cheeks. Um, this is definitely the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. And I apply it in an upward motion towards my temple. Not temple, but the top part of my ear. And make sure that's nice and blended out. Whoa, that blush. That blush though. Asha comes through on the blush, y'all. Okay. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil to line my lips. Opal highlighter, which is like a real champagne color, only because my inner eyes. Yeah, my opal highlighter. <laughs> from Becca, and I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones. I'm going really light with this. Um, I don't want a super bright highlight. Y'all, this is my favorite. This is the Kylie Dulce K Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna apply this. For me, it's like the perfect nude. I'm horrible at applying lipstick. I'm like so sloppy with it. And this smells so good. I'm so hungry. I have I do not flow in no regulars. You can hear me on my shade. But I do not flow in no regulars. Run out the bands on the regular. I do not flow in no regulars. You can hear me on my shade.